Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate you with the International South Park Reaction Day. But before we begin, do you feel it? Do you feel the Christmas atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen? Because today we are reacting to an episode called Woodland Critters. Let's see how this goes. Way up in the mountains in a small little town, the main street was being decorated all up and down. People stood in long lines, sometimes waiting hours or more, because Christmas needs to be bought in a store. So they set you up for this nice Christmas storytelling mode, but something tells me not to trust the South Park creators on this one. But out in the forest not too far away, the little woodland critters were also preparing for their Christmas day. It's almost time when the time is here, the time that's only once a year, we can hardly wait cause it's so near, a woodland critter Christmas. The little critters worked hard as they happily sang, and each one of them had a quite interesting name. There was Squirrely the squirrel, Rabbity the rabbit, Beavery the beaver, and Barry the bear, Porcupiney the porcupine, Skunky the skunk, Foxy the fox, and Deary the deer. I don't trust this niceness. I repeat, I don't trust this niceness. Woodpeckery the woodpecker, Mousy the mouse, and Chickadee the chickadee. <laughs> all made the forest their house. And on that magical day, stumbling upon all of that, was a Stan. surprised little boy in a red poofball hat. What the hell? <laughs> Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. You see, that's actually how kids react in such a situation. Like, what the hell? It's not a fairy tale. If it was a fairy tale, then Stan would have been like, Those magnificent creatures. Shall I go and play with them? <laughs> Every animal, big or small, Christmas means so much to us all. <laughs> well, hello there. Welcome to our forest. How do you like our Christmas tree? It's nice. Well, it's the most perfect tree in the forest. Yay! 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 Oh, no. I see a problem. What is it, Mousy? Our Christmas tree doesn't have a star. Oh. We can't have a tree with no star on it. What are we gonna do? I'm afraid. I am genuinely afraid. Based on South Park logic, the nicer the setup, the bloodier the punchline. <laughs> now don't be down, y'all. Maybe our new friend can help us find a star. Can you help me? Oh, would you be able to help me, please? Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. And so, using some paper and working with glee, the boy in the red poofball hat made a star for the tree. As I've mentioned before, this is exactly how a normal human being would react to a fairy tale situation like this. Like, ah, oh, fuck. I wanted to go home. Now I got involved in this shit. Ah. Oh. It's the nicest star I ever saw. The little critters cheered, and Beavy said with a smile, how would you like to sing and dance with us for a while? The boy in the red poofball hat smiled and said, Uh, no thanks. I'm gonna go home. Thank you, South Park. Goodbye, Scooter! Goodbye, Goodbye Scooter! Goodbye, Scooter! Goodbye, Scooter! Goodbye, Scooter! I would defecate myself. Oh, uh, what? His friends were all there. What a wonderful surprise. The little boy smiled with joy in his eyes. <laughs> what time is it? You aren't gonna believe what happened, Danny. It's the most magical Christmas gift ever. Porcupiney is pregnant. You guys, I have to go to school tomorrow. I deduce the man boy doesn't understand the seriousness of the fertilization. <laughs> <laughs> the harvest this year is plentiful. Porcupiney is a virgin, Stanny. Her conception was immaculate. She's gonna give birth to our Lord and Savior. What? It is Christianity reference? Question mark. So soon. How delightful. Our souls are saved. Finally, the critters are gonna have a Savior with their very own of their very own. Yay! Yay! There's just okay. one problem. We don't have a manger for our Savior to be born in. Aww. Aww. But we got to have a manger. Can you do it, Stan? Can you build us a manger, huh? Of course I'll build you a manger, the little boy cried, <laughs> and he winked at his critter friends and leapt to their side. And 
and out in the woods, the boy steamed right ahead, making a place for the critter babe to lay its sweet head. You know, they all look nice, but I think if you refuse to do what they say, and the bear alone can handle your asshole like a pack of jelly beans. comes down and eats the virgin critter impregnated with the son of our lord oh dear i'm so very afraid how should my brain process this information that i just received let's face it the mountain lion will never let our savior be born <laughs> hey we shouldn't be upset this christmas we've got stanny of course stanny can do anything if he can build a manger he can stop that mean old mountain lion christmas is <laughs> Isn't it always the case when out of niceness you want to help someone random but end up getting used like a Chinese kid at the shoe factory? High up in the forest on a dark craggly peak, the horrid mountain lion lived and preyed on the weak. For the critters to be saved, someone had to stop that nasty old cat. God damn it, this is f***ing ridiculous. Said the little boy in the red poofball hat. Killing a mountain lion was no easy task. But he thought of a plan, and he thought of it fast. Gang! Gang! Come on out! Come on, Critter Killer! Your days of slaughtering innocent little animals are over! Thank God they didn't ask Kenny to do this. it was over a victorious blow the mountain lion lay <laughs> slain on the cold ground below let me guess the lion mama had offsprings <laughs> okay there mommy mommy <laughs> wake up mommy wake up don't leave us mommy Boy, why? Why did you kill her mommy? Why? <laughs> I... The critters, they're... B birth of the savior? <laughs> <laughs> the tiny cubs all gathered together and cried, all alone in the world because their mother had died. <laughs> Don't help strangers, kids. <laughs> All right, Lady Porcupiney? Oh, yes, just felt a little kick is all. Well, it's been much too long now. I I'm afraid our helpful friend Stanny must be very dead. Stanny, you're alive. But does that mean you killed the mountain lion? It's dead. For real and for true? Are you sure? I'm sure it won't be hurting you anymore. He did it. Now our Critter Christmas can finally happen. Give me the damn punchline. I know that nothing good will happen. I'm pretty much sure. <laughs> My wish has been fulfilled. <laughs> Hail Satan. <laughs> Wait, what, what? You've done us a huge favor, Stanny. Without the mountain lion around, Lady Porcupine can give birth to the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> you see, kids, if you help strangers, you're contributing to the rebirth of Satan. <laughs> Think about it. You really think God would have sex with a porcupine? No way! <laughs> I think some of them wouldn't miss on this opportunity. The Bolivo would do that! Yay! This is calls for celebration. Let's sacrifice Rabbit and eat his flesh! Yay! Sacrifice me to the devil! Yay! Yay! yay. 
Wait, no, 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 no. Would you believe me if I told you I don't want to see a rabbit getting sacrificed? Jesus Christ! Hail Satan! <laughs> in the gentle forest clearing on Christmas Eve morn, the little forest critters prepared for the Antichrist to be born. The noble man Yes, I thought that the punchline was going to be very, very perverted. But I never thought to myself that I'm gonna witness a blood orgy of woodland critters. <sighs> Mountain lion had stopped evil in all the years past. But now the good protector lay dead as the good owls amassed. And meanwhile, three lion cubs were crying away. For them, there would certainly be no Christmas day. And soon the forest would suffer from the offspring. This Satan is so dead. wrong. All of this because of the little boy in the red pool. <laughs> now that he'd killed the noble lion queen, there was nobody to stop the apocalypse, it seemed. <laughs> I know, he said with a new happy grin. I'll go back to the forest and speak with those critters again. <laughs> the big contrast between the narrator's joyful voice and Stan that's like, Ah, oh, fuck, how do I fix this shit? <laughs> no, 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 no. He ran out the living room, turned off the light, and went back to the forest to set everything right. I would also not give a damn, honestly. Right. He tried to forget all about it by watching TV, but his conscience caught up with him into the forest he did flee. <laughs> he thought he could hide from his problems. Not true. He knew in his heart the thing he had to do. Leave me alone. <laughs> he knew that only by going to the forest could he... All right, all right, all right. God. What an asshole narrator, Jesus Christ. Hey, look everyone, it's your old pal, Stanny. <laughs> oh boy, Stanny, you came just in time. Yeah, we've got a big problem. The great Satan has commanded that when the Antichrist is born, we must find a human host body to transfer it into. That way he can take over the whole world, the whole world! The human must be non <laughs> and heathenistic against Christ. <laughs> be perfect! Yay! Yay! I'm not a heathen. I was baptized and my family's Christian. <sighs> Something tells me that it's gonna be the Jewish boy fulfilling this duty. <laughs> but we got to have a human host body for the Antichrist. Oh dear, maybe we won't have a critter Christmas after all. Now don't be down, y'all. Stanny can help us find a non-baptized heathen human. Will you really, Stanny? No! I'm not doing you any more favors and I'm not letting you give birth to the Antichrist. I came here to put a stop to all this. To stop us? But gee whiz, Stan, if you tried to stop us, we'd have to use our evil satanic powers on you. <laughs> hey, at least they warn him. Right, whatever. I'm taking down the manger I built. Really, a two-headed Cerberus? Or is a Cerberus always three-headed? Are there some people who are good in mythology that could help me with that one? <laughs> oh boy, our satanic powers sure did the trick! Our powers get stronger every day! Get stronger every day! Sorry, Stanny, but you see, nothing can stop the birth of the Antichrist except for a mountain lion. And you got rid of her! Yay! <laughs> the boy shook with anger. He broke a sweat and fell ill. When he remembered, there were three mountain lion cubs still alive on the hill. Oh, yeah. You know, apart from them being satanic and whatever, they still had dignity by letting Stan know, by letting Stan go. They warned him. Hmm, but on the other hand, having a blood orgy is also not the most Christian thing ever. Hmm. <laughs> Anybody in there? 
Oh no, it's the man boy who killed Mommy! He's come to kill us now! It's okay, I died inside when Mommy was killed anyways. Yeah, better this than the slow death we'd face without a mother around. Wow. Look, I'm sorry I killed your mom. The, the squirrel told me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. My bad. She was evil. You got tricked by a squirrel? Gee, you're not too smart, are you, mister? I'm trying to make this all right again. But the only thing that can stop devil worshipping critters is a mountain lion. Yeah, and you killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, stop being an asshole. Well, you're mountain lions. Us? No, we're just kids. We still have our baby teeth. And our baby claws. And a dead mom. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the dead mom always get me? There still has to be a way for you to kill the porcupine's baby. What? You mean like in an abortion? <laughs> yeah, an abortion. That could work. But we don't know how to give abortions. Do you know some place we can learn, mister? What's happening? Where can they learn abortion? that? Abortion? said with a frown. I know the abortion clinic just outside of town. What? So he picked up the cubs and down the mountain he stormed and took them to where abortions are performed. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> Oh, hell no! Nah. I've seen a woman give birth. Now you're gonna make me watch a woman's fetus being aborted, right? Are you pleased with yourself? God damn it! Said the boy in the red poofball hat. We've made it already, little cubs. Fancy that! Excuse me, what are you doing here? The abortion doctor inquired. If you want to be in the OR, a pass is required. I don't know. I'm, I'm supposed to show these mountain lions how abortions are performed or something? I... I know, it's ridiculous. Well, you're in luck, I'm happy to inform. It's only three days until Christmas, so I have lots of abortions to perform. Gather around my table, cute little... Are they all treating abortions in South Park like it's some kind of flu or something? <laughs> Look how happy the lady is! Lions, I'll teach you to do abortions without even trying. And so the little boy and the cubs gathered around the chair base and all day watched abortion after abortion take place. Oh, Christmas no, time is no, 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 every animal big or small. Oh. Christmas means so much to us all. It's once a year, it's Christmas time. <laughs> Once a year, it's once a year at Christmas time. When and they're all happy like it's a massage or something. When we hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. This better have a point, dude. This really better have a point. It's almost time when the time is here. The time that's only once wow. a year. Wow. Oh, look. That little feller is all alone. Gee, he looks sad. No! <laughs> what the hell? How come you're all alone on Christmas Eve? My family doesn't celebrate Christmas. Oh, why? <laughs> well, because we don't really believe in Jesus. <laughs> Yay! But does that mean you aren't baptized? No, I'm Jewish. Yeah! <laughs> you got to go with us! You're perfect, just as perfect! Yeah! You're Jewish! Twas the night before Christmas, and above the woods way up high, a new bright shiny star hung in the sky. For the world to be saved, there was only one shot. A little boy with three cubs and an abortion plot. <laughs> okay, come on, the critters are over this way. You mountain lions ready to stop the Antichrist from being born? Sure, we know how to give abortions now. He arrived at the Critter Forest ready to fight, but then gasped when he saw- I refuse to believe in the fact that this is now going to be sedimented in my memory. <sighs> saw a most dreadful sight. God, we did 
What's that? Bringing a thousand years of darkness to the forest. Antichrist is born, bringing a thousand years of darkness to the forest. It looks like the half ostrich, half man creature from Douche and Turd. Honestly, it does. <laughs> the Antichrist had been born, sealing the world's fate. The boy in the red poofball hat was too late. Too late? The hell is that? Who? Who are you, Stan? Stan! Stan, what the hell is going on? It's Critter Christmas, dude. It sucks ass. Now all we got to do is put the Antichrist into our human host. Yay! 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 That's it? 10,000 years of darkness and I don't even have a Merry Christmas? When up in the sky, <laughs> the sound of sleigh bells were heard. I think that's not the main priority now, Stan. And a jolly red sleigh flew down to the earth like a bird. Hey, look! He had Santa Claus! Yay! Yay! Let's eat his flesh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. oh Santa, please. Why is there a red star glowing in the sky? We finally did it, Santa. We brought forth the Antichrist with help from our good friend, Stanny. Death and pain await all living things. <laughs> Little boy, you should be ashamed. I, mean, I didn't mean to help him. I tried to stop them. Well, good going, stupid. <laughs> Santa! Stop devil-worshipping critters. <laughs> Shotgun! <laughs> Santa, you're not gonna kill me, are you? <laughs> Wait, how are the cops gonna perform an abortion if the baby's already there? I have so many questions and not so many answers. But Santa, what do we do about the Antichrist? Don't worry, boys. The Antichrist cannot survive without a human host body to go into. No. No, I want to have the Antichrist inside me. What? Kyle? With his power, I can finally make the Earth a better place for the Jews! Don't do it, Kai! What? He just took a snap like that? That easy for Kyle? And I was thinking to myself, what maniac brain is able to devise such a bloody world of terror and gore? Cartman's, obviously. <laughs> the answer is right there. I don't believe anyone interrupted you when you read your Christmas story, Loudcat. This whole time, your stupid story was just a way to rip on me for being Jewish at Christmas again. Mr. Gershon, could you do something, please? Sorry, Eric, but if Kyle feels discriminated against, he'll have to stop. <laughs> Mother. All right, fine. Forget it. Uh. Well, but, but what happened? Yeah. Did Kyle bring a thousand years of darkness or not? What happens to the lion? <laughs> you gotta give it to Cartman. He is a hell of an entertainer. Even if he's the most malevolent asshole, he's still an entertainer. Well, I guess we'll never know because Kyle doesn't want to hear how it ends. No, it all worked out, right? The world was saved and I went home for Christmas dinner. Dude, why do you care? Well, after all that, I at least want to know if I had a Merry Christmas <laughs> or if darkness rules the earth. Oh, come on. It's obvious what happens. I get killed by Santa Claus so that Christmas is saved. That's not at all what happens. <laughs> oh, come on. Let him read us the end. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do it. I kind of also feel unfulfilled from not hearing the end of the story. <laughs> Oh dear, my best friend is possessed. How about that? Said the little boy in the red poofball hat. Ha ha ha! Now I shall rule the... Uh, uh, God, it burns! Ah! Uh, my soul is on fire! Uh, oh, I don't like this. I didn't know it would feel so... so dark and evil. Well, what did you expect, dude? It's the son of the devil. Oh God, what have I done? I'm sorry. Please, I don't want to be the vessel for the Antichrist. I'm sorry, but it's too late, Kyle. Santa's gonna have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
I think Kyle's gonna have a very, very stupid death. We don't have a choice. In a few hours, the dark creature inside him will consume his soul. The little boy fretted. He almost started to bawl. But that's when he came up with the best idea of all. <sighs> Kyle is gonna be the one to get the abortion, right? Ball. The lion cubs. The little boy quickly begun. I took them to see how abortions are done. What? Now cubs do no, 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 no. And in the twinkling starlight, no. each little cub did their portion. They remembered all they had learned and gave Kyle an abortion. crazy there well little boy it seems that you have really been through a lot is there any special present you would like to see? yeah yeah there is now cartman does know some storytelling mommy and back home there were presents and lots of food to get fat and it was the best Christmas ever for the boy in the red poof ball hat. The best ending ever. Kyle gets an abortion. The Lion Queen gets resurrected. What could be better? And they all lived happily ever after. Except for Kyle, who died of AIDS two weeks later. God damn it, Carmen! Christmas time is once a year. That was quite an experience. <laughs> now this is the golden rule of South Park. If you have a nice build up and you think that, oh, this is so cute. And you're gonna get the most malevolent, vicious and bloody punchline in human history. And that was it for today. Thank you for recommending this cute episode. If you have more recommendations like this, go in the comments below. Uh, also like, subscribe, the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time. And now I'm gonna go and have a blood orgy. <laughs> <laughs>